So my friend Lynn and I have been at it again. Lynn and I have been on this mission these last few months to do things during the week on weeknights that are healthy. Go explore different things here in San Francisco that we can get together and do and hang out that are hopefully good for us. Cause I don't know about you, but I, I find that the default in my world is that when people make plans to get together, it's usually to go for drinks, especially during the week. It's to go for happy hour or something. And I'm not saying, that I never wanna do that and then I'm against happy hour. But I find that for me during the week, it kind of really messes up my sleep and my productivity and it's just a slippery slope that I should stay away from. So Lynn and I have been trying different things and this video is all about our experience with halo therapy. People in the hallway are being very loud. <laughs> so halo therapy is also known as salt therapy and what it is is the use of a halogenator, halo, halo generator. <laughs> To, there's a lot of hard words to say in this video, but a halo generator is this machine in the room and it grinds up pharmaceutical grade salt and pumps it into the air in really fine particles and you breathe this in. And if you're wondering where the name comes from, the word halo apparently is the Greek word for salt. And breathing in this salt filled air has been said, has been reported to help with all sorts of conditions, things like respiratory conditions and skin conditions. It apparently can help with sleep. It can help with anxiety. It's also said to help with some other things like clearing up mucus from your airways. It is antibacterial, helping to pre prevent infections. It can be anti-inflammatory. It is, or can be an immune booster. It can help you with allergies. And I know this all kind of sounds like something that some hippie in California came up with about 20 minutes ago. And and <laughs> there's really nothing to it. And how do we know if this is doing anything? So I did some research and moving forward, just know when I say I did some research, it means I asked ChatGPT and what I found out or what it found out is that halo therapy is not new at all. It actually goes all the way back to the 12th century in Eastern Europe, salt miners were finding that they were having far less health problems, far less respiratory problems, they were getting less colds and flus than their peers that weren't working in these salt mines. So they started to think there's something to this. And then in about the 1800s, the salt miners in Poland found a more modern version or more modern way to do this. And then people started coming, tourists from all over the world to experience these salt mines or these salt caves so that they too could get the potential health benefits that these miners were seeing. All right, so I'm gonna show you exactly what it looks like here today, at least in San Francisco. I'm gonna take you into the salt cave that Lynn and I went into and show you exactly what this process all looks like and then tell you what you know effects we had, what the process was like for us and if we think it's worthwhile, if we personally think it's worthwhile for other people to give it a try. But first, I'd like to thank Neurogum for sponsoring this video. So what is Neurogum? Neurogum is gum and mints that give you focus and energy and calm. It was developed by athletes performing at the highest level who didn't want to take these mysterious stimulant drinks and other things that give you sort of caffeine jitters. And they wanted something that was more, gave them a more clean, focused, sustained, safer energy from natural sources that they could take anywhere and at any time. So if you'd like to give Neurogum a try, you can use the affiliate link in my video description and get up to 30% off your order and hopefully get some of these calm, focused, energetic benefits as well. All right, halo therapy. So Lynn made us appointments. Thank you, Lynn. She does all the planning. <laughs> and we went to a place here in San Francisco and straight out the gate, I was impressed because the appointments cost $25 per person for, I believe it was a 45 minute session. And if you've never been to San Francisco, let me tell you that I didn't think there was anything that you could do here for $25. So the place has a very relaxing sort of salt themed vibe. There's a yoga studio there as well. And when you arrive, once they get you checked in, they walk you into this room. And I thought we were gonna have to put on bathrobes or something like you usually do in these kinds of places, but no, you just go in in your regular clothes, which makes it simpler. You just walk in and sit down and you get into this room and it's got like the Himalayan rock salt chunk, chunky crystals all over the floor. The floor is completely covered like uh, sand, but salt. And then there's there's salt on um, like on the walls, salt rocks on some of the walls, and there are heat lamps on the walls. And on one wall is this halo generator. And you can see that it's pumping out this really fine mist into the air. And then they've got set up these 
zero gravity lawn chairs that I absolutely love. And you just sit back and you relax. So we sat down in the chairs and we didn't immediately notice anything. Like the air didn't feel different, nothing. It just felt like we were sitting in a room. But I'd say within about five minutes or so, you start to notice it. As this halo generator has been going for a while, you start to notice that you're breathing in something a little bit different, but it's really subtle and it didn't impact my breathing. It didn't make me cough. It didn't make me thirsty. <laughs> kind of thought maybe I'm gonna get dehydrated here. It's a climate controlled room that uh, aims to mimic you know, the salt mines or the salt caves. So it's a specific temperature, a specific humidity. So it's very like, it's just a nice comfortable place to be. So did we notice any benefits? Would we do it again? Would we recommend it to you? For us, we concluded, despite the very reasonable price that, and that we enjoyed it and we had no regrets and we're glad we did it, we probably wouldn't do it again. And the biggest reason for that, which I think would be the biggest thing for you to potentially consider if you're thinking about something like this is you know, for us, we didn't have any particular respiratory problems or skin problems or some of the main things that people typically use this treatment for. So if this is something that you are currently facing, like if I was currently having these problems, I'd probably be willing to give it a few more sessions to see if it, it could have some benefit with these things. And if you enjoyed this video or you just generally enjoy learning about these types of things out there, I'm gonna link another one up here on the screen. It's another adventure that Lynn and I did. For one month, we went every week to cryotherapy. So you go into these chambers that are insanely cold, like minus 200 degrees or something that sounds like it should kill you. And we did notice some specific benefits from these sessions. And overall, it was just a fun adventure <laughs> going to do this. And if you got value from this video, I invite you to consider subscribing. And I'd love to know from you what topics you would like to hear about moving forward. What is interesting to you? What can I go do or what can I research or who can I talk to? Who can I bring on the channel um, that is going to give you information that's gonna be truly helpful for you. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you got something out of it and I hope to see you in this next video.